This morning, Belarus's president defended his move to divert a commercial flight and force it to land in his country. It was his first public comment since a dissident journalist and his girlfriend were taken off the plane and arrested on Sunday. The move led to sanctions by the European Union. Charlie Dagada reports on Belarus's effort to justify what other officials are calling a hijacking. President Alexander Lukashenko came out swinging today, accusing the West of crossing a red line, strangling Belarus, and saying it was a total lie that the plane was forced down. Defiance expected of the man, nicknamed the last dictator in Europe. He doubled down that it was a bomb threat that forced that Ryanair passenger plane down on Sunday. Western leaders believe it was instead a plot to arrest opposition activist Roman Protosevich, seen here in what appeared to be a forced confession released Monday. In a transcript released by Lukashenko's government, the Ryanair pilot repeatedly questions the controller over the forced diversion. The pilot asks, this recommendation to divert to Minsk, where did it come from? Where did it come from? Company, departure airport authorities, arrival airport authorities? The controller just replies, this is our recommendation. Yes, Overnight, another video appeared showing Protasevich's companion, Sofia Sopega, apparently under duress, confessing to being the editor of an anti-government social media channel. Friends and family now fear for their lives. Protasevich's mother, Natalia, made an urgent plea to world leaders. I am begging for help. I'm begging for help, she says. Please save him. They're going to kill him in there. She has not heard from her son, Roman, since he was detained. For CBS This Morning, Charlie Daggett, London.